In the last video, we discussed all the major ways that you can customize a test in Blackboard. In this video, we'll go over how to grade and provide feedback for students after they complete a test. By and large, most tests that you'll encounter in your course will automatically be graded for you. Any test that solely consists of questions where the correct answer is already given at the time the test was created, such as multiple choice or true-false questions, will be automatically graded once the students submit the test. However, if the test has essay or short answer questions, the test will appear as needs grading and you, the instructor, must evaluate and provide a score for those questions. Tests that you need to grade are accessed from the needs grading page or from the Grade Center. We'll go to the full Grade Center. To grade a single test, locate the cell for a student's test containing an exclamation mark, indicating needs grading. Access the cell's contextual menu and click Attempt. To grade all attempts for a particular test, access the test column contextual menu and click Grade Attempts. The Grade Test page appears. On this page, you can navigate among users and attempts, view rubrics, grade anonymously, and view information about the test. Expand the Test Information link to view the following information. The status of the test, needs grading in progress or completed. The score awarded for the test. If the test needs grading, this number is blank. If you choose the set timer option, the time a student spent taking the test is recorded and appears here. Started date shows the date the student began. Submitted date shows the date the student submitted the test for grading. Any instructions associated with the test display here and clicking Clear Attempt clears the current test attempt. You'll use this when you want to give a student another chance to start over on a test. For example, if a student started a test that forced completion and a technical issue prevented them from finishing, you could allow them to retake the test. And finally, the Submit Attempt button. This function overrides an in-progress test attempt and submits it for grading. If a test is listed as in progress, either you or the student taking it must submit the test for you to grade it. On the Grade Test page, type a score for each question here. You can overwrite scores for questions graded automatically. If you associated a rubric with essay, short answer, or file response questions, click View Rubric to grade the question using the rubric. To learn more, see our rubrics video earlier in the series. Optionally, add response feedback specific to the individual question. The response feedback box only appears for certain question types, such as essays. At the bottom, type comments in the feedback box. This feedback is for the whole test and is visible to students in My Grades. Type comments to yourself in the grading notes box. This text is not seen by students. Click Save and Exit to return to the full Grade Center, the Needs Grading page or the Grade Details page, depending on where grading began. Or click Save and Next to display the next user, 